Hello princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about the Chateau Labillotte Wine Lip Tints in the Velvet. I saw these tints advertised back in November and the colour range looks so pretty and wearable so I decided to grab the entire range of them. I have previously tried the regular lip tints from Chateau Laviotte and I really enjoyed them so I thought that I would quite like these ones as well and of course the packaging is so cute, it's little wine bottles and I think it is just adorable. So the product description says, one layer of light closely adhering finish, kiss proof, Powerful fixing, lasting power, strong effect, more romantic color. Of course, these tints have super cute wine bottle shaped packaging, which adds to the appeal. They have a doe foot wand that makes the tints easy to apply, though the wand applicator is a little small and awkward to hold. There are six shades in the velvet range, and I quite like the shade range. It doesn't include the classic K Beauty shades like the hot pink, bright orange, and bright red, but rather a range of more soft and muted shades. BE01 Terroir Nudes is a pale, warm-toned nude shade. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that one correctly or not, I'm trying my best. This is a fairly natural nude shade for me, though it does lean slightly orange. I find these tints very easy to apply, though the little applicator wand can be a little bit fiddly to hold as it is so small. This is the lighter shade in the range, but even a thin layer colours my lips perfectly. PK01 Saint Rose is a beautiful dusty rose shade. This is actually my favourite shade in the range. It's the perfect dusty rose for everyday wear. It's not a my lips but better shade, but I do find that the shade matches well to the majority of my outfits. These tints do dry down to a lovely soft matte finish, but are not smudge proof or kiss proof like the product description says. I do recommend exfoliating any dead skin off before application for a beautiful finish. PK02 Verdot Pink is a vibrant strawberry pink shade. This is another really pretty shade and one that I get a lot of wear out of. For me, this is almost a Barbie pink, but I actually really love it. I find that these tints stain my lips really nicely. It helps them to fade out nicely throughout the day so that I don't end up with a ring of colour around the outside of my lips after eating or drinking. CR01 Shalom Coral is a lovely muted coral shade. This is another lovely shade that I get quite a lot of wear out of too. This is a similar shade to the other two pinks but it definitely has orange undertones. I find that these tints are best applied sparingly. When I apply too much, I find that they start collecting around the inner lip, like in this video, and it doesn't look as good or wear as well. OR01 Rose Orange is a pretty muted orange shade. I don't usually like orange shades, but this one isn't too bad. It has more of a muted tone rather than being bright carrot orange like the K-Beauty shades usually come in, and I think that this suits me a little bit better. This is still the least favourite shade in the collection, not because I don't like it, but because I like the other shades more. These tints have fairly good longevity and last on my lips for up to 3-5 to five hours without eating or drinking. RD01 Swirling Red is a vibrant warm toned red shade. This is a beautiful classic colour that looks great on my skin tone. I do find that these tints have a texture that is more like a liquid lipstick than your traditional water or gel tint and they have quite an awful scent and taste. They smell and taste a little bit like plastic to me, which isn't the best. I am actually a little bit surprised at how much I like these lip tints. I think that the packaging is adorable, I really like the shade range, and they have a really lovely finish on my dry lips. I'm wearing PK01 on my lips with a little bit of RD01 in the center for a little bit of depth, and they look really, really beautiful. I do have dry lips today, um, but you can't actually see it, um, although there is like a little bit of like, not crustiness, but dry skin around the outside of my lips today. Because they do have that liquid lip sort of finish, I was expecting them to dry down and make my lips feel really tight and like wrinkly, but they don't feel like that. They do feel quite soft, though the one thing that I do disagree with the product description is that they're kiss proof because they definitely are not. And I think for me that kind of benefits me because my lips are so dry, I don't want them to be like drying down on my lips to like 
a locked finish because it's gonna make my lips look like wrinkly prunes and that's not the look I'm going for. I think that for these ones, because they have such a beautiful color range, they would make really nice gifts as well. I mean, you can't go wrong with a really nice red lip and the packaging is so cute. If you have like a friend or family member that loves wine, like definitely get these for them because I think they are adorable. I think they're probably more wearable than the liquid tints as well, especially for Westerners that are not used to that sort of K-beauty tint sort of deal. This is probably a lot easier to wear and get their heads around. But look at the packaging, it's so cute. I did a little bit of shopping around for these ones and the price point does vary between seven to 15 US dollars each. So I definitely recommend shopping around to get the best price. The best price for me was $7.77 um, in US dollars from Korea Depart, but they did have a couple of shades out of stock. So I definitely recommend shopping with Korea Depart and I'll leave a link down below. It's not an affiliate link because they don't do affiliation, um, but yeah, I definitely recommend grabbing them from there. Thank you guys so much for watching this review and I'll see you next time. Bye!